In this video, we will see how to configure Variate Policy in BHOM. Now, let's log in to BMC Helix portal and we will launch BMC Helix Operations Management. Now go to Configuration, Variate Policies. Click Create. Now, give the policy name. Disk Usage. Univariate policy. Description is an optional field. There are two types of variate policies. Univariate, where only single metric is analyzed at a time. If there are multiple metrics configured in a univariate policies, each metric is analyzed independently. An anomaly event is generated for the metric which is impacted. In multivariate, all the metrics are analyzed at the same time. For more details, you can refer the document. Now, let's click on Add Metrics. Specify the metric selection criteria. The selection criteria consists of opening and closing parentheses, followed by slot name. If you do not want to use the brackets, use option no bracket. Now I will use host name from the available slots. Equals, I will specify my host name. You can specify another selection criteria by using AND and OR operator. Now, from the list of metrics, click Add to move the metric under selected metric selection criteria. I will use disk space used. Click Add. Now, if you specify more than 10 metrics, the BHOM considers only top 10 score metrics and all other with the outside of the top 10 ranks are ignored. Now, click Apply. Specifying the anomaly event setting is optional. Anomaly duration is the time limit to generate anomaly event. Default is set to 5 minutes. If the anomaly data point persists for a minute of 5 minutes, then the policy generates an event. Message text. It is used in anomaly event. Test event. Now. If the anomaly condition no longer exists for the selected metric, then to close the anomaly event automatically, you can use this option auto close. Anomaly score settings. BMC recommends you do not change the default standard dimension settings unless you are familiar with this concept. So BHOM supports three different anomaly events. Minor event is generated when the score value is in the range of 1 to 2. Major event is generated between 1 2 to 3.5 and critical event is generated when it is 3.5 and above. The RCF algorithm requires minimum of 64 data points for univariate policy to generate anomaly event and 320 data points for a multivariate policy. Now, let's save this policy. Click save. Now, let's go to monitoring and events to verify if the event is generated or not. As you can see that the test event is generated, let's click on details. You can see that the anomaly event is generated with the severity minor. Similarly, if you want all the metrics to be analyzed, create multivariate policy. This concludes my video. Thank you.